Thank you. Thank you, Thank Mr. You. President. So we continue to review the data very carefully from around the globe, as I know many of you are. Uh, we continue to see signs that, again, individuals under 20, 19 and under may have severe disease, but majority and all have recovered to date. We still see that same trend. And frankly, from Italy, we're seeing a ver another concerning trend that the mortality in males seems to be twice in every age group of females. This should alert all of us to continue our vigilance to protect our Americans that are in nursing homes. This requires all of the community, and when you see the sacrifices that many Americans have made, the sacrifices that the service industry has made to close their restaurants, close their bars, and so that the spread is discontinued, and then you really understand how all of Americans must make the same sacrifice. We continue to ask you to follow the presidential guidelines of no groups coming together of more than 10. That if anyone in the household is sick, that everyone quarantines in the household together. And that we continue to focus on those who have the most vulnerability to this illness. Now to the moms and dads out there that have children with immunodeficiencies or other medical conditions, we don't know the level of risk. And I know you will also protect them in the same way. There just is not enough numbers at this time to really tell them if they're at additional risk or not in the same way that adults are. I don't have any new data. I can see the look on your face of saying, is she seeing something new? I don't have any new data, but I think it's important for us to be as honest with the American people as we can. And when we don't have data, be very clear that we don't know. Finally, no one is immune. I sometimes hear people on radio or others talking about, I'm immune to the virus. We don't know if the contagion levels are different in age groups, but we know it's highly contagious to everyone. Do not interpret mild or moderate disease as lack of contagion or that you're immu immune. You just happen to have a better immune system and the ability to fight the virus in a way that maybe older people or people with existing medical conditions can't. And that's why it's very important at this moment that all of you carry that message about the sacrifices that many have made, particularly our service providers and our frontline healthcare workers. They are making that sacrifice every day so that every American can move through this well. But we need every American following the presidential guidelines. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tony.